the scientific literature on sexual consequences of general cutting is hard to draw broad conclusions from because it's hard to study subjective sexual experiences using scientific instruments. Um, one result that's been replicated in a number of studies is that the foreskin itself is the most touch sensitive tissue on the penis. And so if you remove that, you have a decrease in sensitivity simply by virtue of removing certain sensitive tissue. Whether the remaining parts of the penis, the glands, is thereby further desensitized is a matter of controversy. But um, many people uh, who have been circumcised will report that because of the rubbing of the exposed glands against clothing and so forth, that they, they feel that there's some sort of sensory uh, decrement. And it makes sense because the head of the penis evolved to be an internal organ, just like the clitoral glands is an internal organ. It's covered by a clitoral hood. So if you imagine removing the clitoral hood and having the, the clitoral glands rubbing against clothing year after year, you can imagine that would probably not be great. Um, similarly, you know, your eyeball is an internal organ that's protected by an eyelid with a mucous membrane on the inside. So the foreskin is supposed to be making the head of the penis an internal organ. If you strip the foreskin away and it becomes an external organ that's exposed and constantly removed, uh, has its protection removed, it's, it seems like it would affect the sensory profile, but actually measuring that scientifically turns out to be pretty hard. The other thing uh, that, that you mentioned is that the mechanics of sex change. So that's true. The, the foreskin creates is slack skin that allows movement. So the penis basically moves in and out of its own sheath, which reduces friction that might be uncomfortable. And the foreskin itself also has sebaceous glands, which are lubricating. So it adds to the sort of lubricated experience of sex. Whereas during masturbation, for example, circumcised males typically have to use this artificial lubrication because there's no there's nothing else that can move. So they would just be rubbing against the shaft, which can be unpleasant without lubrication. So when people get into these details about what exactly is the sensory effects, it's like there's lots of individual differences. It's hard to measure, we don't know. One thing we do know is that the mechanics of how it, the penis actually works change radically because you're removing the only moving part of the penis apart from the shaft. 